Stephen Mayfield is a true Californian through and through. I grew up on the water here. I grew up on the water up in Los Angeles and have spent my entire life here. I am a surfer. I'm a fisherman. I'm a scuba diver. I love all of those things. That love of the water is driving his passion to save it. Like everyone else, I've seen what we've done to the ocean. We've used it as a dumping ground for the last well, hundreds of years, but specifically for the last 50 years. You know, it's just a garbage bin that we throw stuff into. Sustainability. So Mayfield turned to a potential solution in his lab at the University of California, San Diego. The answer lying in algae. They were the original organisms. You would not be on this planet and I would not be on this planet if it weren't for those. They clearly spent a fair amount of time. Mayfield is a distinguished professor of biology and has studied green algae for decades. The organism's a powerhouse against climate change by sucking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. About three billion years ago, the atmosphere was about close to 80 percent carbon dioxide. No organisms could live on it. Photosynthetic organisms showed up, figured out how to turn CO2 and sunlight into chemical energy. So it turned the atmosphere from 80 percent carbon dioxide to now 20 percent oxygen. And that's why you and I can live and breathe. Now, Mayfield's scientific senses have given algae a modern purpose as a main material for shoes. And shoes have that kind of nice sweet spot where they're large volume of them because there's about 25 billion with a B, right? There's only 8 billion of us on the planet. Somehow we make three pairs of shoes per person per year. Through his company, Blueview, Mayfield created what he calls the world's first fully biodegradable shoes from top to bottom. Algae is grown in Mayfield's lab. Their oils extracted and used as a basis to mold the shoe's soles. The upper half woven with all natural ingredients of hemp, cotton, and eucalyptus. Altogether, the shoe is a plant-based alternative to conventional footwear, which is often made of harmful plastics that linger in the environment. Because they stay around for a thousand years, hey, when you throw those there, they tend to stay there forever. Not these shoes. Here's what they look like breaking down inside these compost containers. It takes between seven and eight months for our shoe to completely biodegrade. During his six years of research, Mayfield and his team found when the shoes were tossed in the ocean, organisms fed off of them recycling the algae back into the ecosystem. Mayfield's invention now creating a footprint, helping protect his beloved oceans for years to come.